Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to customize your app icons on your iPhone using iOS 15. I did do this video when iOS 14 came out and you guys really liked it, so I just decided to make an updated one in case you were wondering if something's different. So how you do this is really easy. All you need is the shortcuts app and then whatever app icon you're going to be using. So the app icons I'm going to be using is a pack that I got from a YouTuber called Knoopsy. I'll have his pack in the description box below if you're interested in getting it for yourself so i just have this icon pack that i'm going to be using but you can use whichever photos or everything that you want there are so many available that you can download there are cool apps that you can download for this there are so many options so yeah just find the app icons that you prefer so in order to change your app icons all we're going to do is we're going to go into the shortcuts app so it is this app here again if you don't have it on your phone you can just download it from the app store but yeah i'm pretty sure it's going to be default on your phone shortcuts go in there and here you can see all my shortcuts that i already have so all you need to do to create your own shortcut is click on the plus button here at the top right and then you'll see it says add action. So you can either click on add action or you can click on open app if you have the suggestion down here. But if you don't, you just click on add action and go to scripting. And then you'll see open app. So then it's going to ask you to insert the app that you want to open. So here you just tap on app and then it gives you your list of apps that you have. So I'm just going to go with Spotify for the example for now. So yeah, we have Spotify and in order to add this to your home screen and actually add your custom icon what you do is you click on this blue settings icon up here click on add to home screen and then this is where you're actually going to be naming your shortcut so again you're just going to name it whatever app you're using or whatever you want to name it i'm just going to go with spotify plain and simple and in order to add the icon you click on the little app icon next to the name and then choose where you want to get your photo from files or from photos. Mine is saved in files. And then I can just search whichever app icon I want to use. Okay, so then I have my icon selected. And now to add it to our home screen, just click on add in the top right. And now you can see here is my Spotify icon that we just created. So if I go in, you'll see it just takes me into Spotify real quick and easy. So that is how you basically customize your app icon on your iphone it's really easy sadly we still have that annoying notification thing that pops down whenever you click on your shortcuts apple still hasn't made a great way to get rid of that so we're kind of stuck with it for now so yeah sadly that shortcut animation thing will call always pop up when you open an app but honestly you'll get used to it after a while another fun thing to play around with when customizing your iphone on ios 15 is widgets my favorite app to use is widget smith so in here i have all my apps from widget smith or all my widgets from widget smith i just have a few that i can play around with you can choose what type of widget you want whether it's a photo or it's a moon phase or the date or the time different sizes of widgets as well you can play around with widgets also widget smith really is my top recommendation for cool widgets another cool thing you can play around with when customizing your iphone is the focus mode thing that apple just released with ios 15 i have a whole video on that if you want to check it out i'll have it in the i have top and the description box below if you're interested in that but Basically, I can go into certain focus mode. So, so here in the control center, um, I'll show you guys in that video how to set it up. But yeah, so if I go into filming mode, you'll see none of my previous home screens are here anymore. It's just this one home screen that I made for when filming. I can just go into that and then all my other home screens are gone. Same with reading. It has its own little home screen that I can have and I can just turn that off entirely and then I'm back to my home screens. How I did that basically is I went and edited my home screen. So how you do that is hold down on your screen anywhere and then you go into this mode. Then go to your home screen toggle, which are these dots here at the bottom. Click on that and then you'll see all your home screens. So I created these two home screens um individually and then i just turned them off for default so on default these home screens are not turned on but when i set up my focus i just turned these on just for that so focus and these are all then hidden um again in that video i go into more detail into how to actually set that up but yeah 
that is basically another cool thing you could play around with when wanting to customize your phone focus modes are really fun to play around with but okay that is my video on customizing your iphone on ios 15 i hope you guys enjoyed it and found it interesting if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and comment down below any other questions you might have for me definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen click on the playlist to see all my other ios 15 related videos and click on the video to my previously uploaded video i'll see you guys next time bye